Hi everybody, this is Blossom and today I do a tarot tag. Uh, this time deck storage tag. Uh, this one is by Jennifer Balls, Spiritual Garage. And yeah, I don't do them often, but you know, from time to time, why not? And it's all about how we store our decks. So the first question is, where do you store your decks? And then she asked to show if we can, and I can. So, you know my altar, maybe? And underneath, there's stuff. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it's very dark already. So, and here are the boxes with my, uh, with my bags, with my tarot in this box. So, this is my doggy's um, basket. <laughs> so, here I have my tarot bags as you can see and then on the other side I have my oracle dags and most of them in bags most of them not yet all of them so and this is um, as I don't have like oh you saw my pyjama <laughs> mm. <laughs> so um, you see, I have, well, I think I have quite a few, but they are not that many yet. Yet. <laughs> and, yeah. So, I still have a bit of room, but not too much, because I see already well, there's stuff going underneath. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and that's how I store them. And the second question would be, do you keep the boxes? Um, yes and no, in a way. So I keep the boxes until I have made a bag, so that's why I, those are my two latest. I have the fabric already, but I didn't come around to make the bags yet, that will happen this weekend. But until, of course, until then I, of course, keep the boxes. I don't keep the boxes near me, but I have a few in this. Uh, cupboard so as you see sorry about the camera light and sorry about the messy but it's all right <laughs> so as you see I have a few boxes those are Oracle that I haven't done a review yet so and normally until then I keep uh, the boxes until I did a review just to show you know uh, how they come in and I don't even know if I will do reviews but I keep the boxes for a while and uh, also, I have still a few boxes in the cellar, but mostly I say, yeah, just throw them away. It's a bit, you know, a shame because they are good boxes, actually. As you see, they are nice and sturdy, but um, yeah, I, I really prefer bags because it, uh, something personal goes into it when I made bags. And yeah, I see, me personally, just, just me personal, <laughs> it's just a personal preference. Um, I see it a bit as, yeah, but I don't know even how to say that. Yeah, I prefer to have a more personal note to um, my tarot bags. So, question number three. Sorry, I'm just reading them actually now. Um, how do you pair your deck with a bag and what material do you prefer? Cotton, satin, etc. Alrighty. Um, okay, wait. So here's an example from a bag I've made. This is the Terror of the She. So how do I pair it? Um, what is important is that I see immediately what tarot deck it is. This is quite clear. Terror of the She with a great glaive, as you can see. Uh, another one. Beautiful Creatures Terror. For me, that is completely clear. So I choose the fabric very... I'm very careful when I choose the fabric, it has to relate to, to the deck. Uh, another one, Terror of the Sweet Twilight, I love that fabric. I'm not so much over the material, you know, I just need that it needs to look like the tarot deck. Uh, this is another one. Or oh, another good one is uh, Bone Fire Tarot, because the guidebook looks like it so I think that fitted and I still had one or oh, I'll show you just a few 
the Wildwood Tarot. This is clear for me as well. Uh, then uh, the Shadowscape Tarot. There we go. That's the name of it. Um, yeah, I was actually looking for something a bit more purplish, but then I saw this one, and I really liked it. Animal Totem Tarot. I think all the fabric for me personally. Again, uh, you you may not see it, but um, I know immediately what's in there, and this is important. That's also why I choose very carefully what kind of fabric uh, I use, and mostly I go to special markets. Um, I don't know how you call them. I'm very sorry. My English is really not good today. Um, I go to special markets who sell fabric, so it's mostly from uh, Holland, it's Stoffmarkt Holland, so it's like fabric market from Holland, and um, yeah, you can get good deals, um, because they have, you can buy smaller pieces of fabric, you don't, you don't have to buy a whole meter or anything, you just get small pieces here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my um, uh, Lord of the Rings tarot. I love that. <laughs> and yeah, of course, they have a lot of fabric like that with um, more for children, but I like that, so that's okay. Or a very simple one, uh, the Green Ridge tarot. But it's, it works, you know. I know what's in there, and that's why I need really to say it where I want to have a lot of choice between different fabrics and yeah the best opportunity there is to go at a market like that and then I can choose but sometimes I, <laughs> uh, I buy as well this one was gifted to me from my sister from my lovely sister she bought me that and then of course I will use them as well I think they are beautiful, but I really don't, this is more silky now. And then I have what is really bad to use when you have dogs. Here, yeah, that kind. But this actually was, um, I this fabric I used to make um, a, 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 a jacket for my dog. Um, she never wears it because, yeah, well, it was just an idea. Uh, she looks awfully cute with it. But it was never that cold. Uh, it was just one winter since, wow, since six, seven, eight years maybe that she actually uh, needed a jacket. And since then it was always, you know, not that cold at winter that she would have need a jacket. But dog hair everywhere. So that was also a bad idea for um, for jacket. <laughs> Other ones I have bought is this one. This is for the Brian Froud Tarot's uh, um, Oracles, the Fairies Oracle and the Heart of Fairy Oracle. <laughs> and I really, yeah, I found them at um, Amazon and I really like them, so and they are fitting. So I'm not completely against buying. But I prefer to make them myself, but they are really pretty ones. This one is... Sorry, i just show you another one. Maybe you're fed up already. Hope not. <laughs> um, this one, I really... Ah, oh, this one is so beautiful. I bought that one in Glastonbury. I saw it and I thought, yeah, well, you have to buy one in Glastonbury. Uh, here's another one that I, I bought too there. There we go. Another great one I have that I really love is this one. This is for the Oracle of the Dragon Fay or Dragon Fay Oracle, I don't know. Um, and this is actually, this was fabric that I used uh, because I've played a dragon once in a little movie. <laughs> and um, yeah, I needed a costume so I had to make a dragon costume for myself and this is the fabric I used and of course this fits great too to the Dragon Fay Oracle. I really, really love that one. And I couldn't use that fabric for, for any other. I need an, another Dragon Oracle. <laughs> yeah, so again, it is really important for me to have the right 
piece of fabric that I know immediately at first glance what's in there when I just have a look at my box because before I stored all my decks in there but as you see I have a lot of herbs in there now so <laughs> I needed to come up with a different solution and I had them you know by ordered by 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 theme like fairies and well however I had a system <laughs> and uh, yeah and still I needed to know you know just from the fabric what it is because they were just not in a box but stored like that okay so I don't know why I put that I always have the feeling I have to put something there um, <laughs> Question number four, what decides if you put a deck in its original box or bag? Well, as I say, I make all of them myself, so it's not really a question. For me, they all come in a bag and never in their box. Number five. Oh, okay. If you could have anything in the world, what would be your ultimate storage area? Um... Uh... Okay, maybe this is like completely, th this is a boring answer now, but I really like my system right now and maybe because it's late and I have a lack of imagination right now, but no, I really like my system right now and I like to have them, you know, with my altar here and they are close to me and I can just grab them, you know, I just reach for them. The, no, I really like it. Because I didn't actually like liked it so much when they are when they were all on a shelf, because it somehow always looked a bit messy, and I hate messy. I don't like that at all. So here it is, like hidden. <laughs> the messiness is more hidden. So I actually, oh dear, this is such a boring answer. I'm very sorry about that. But I like my system, and for me right now, it's ideal. But who knows, you know, when I get more decks and the boxes get too small because they are a bit already, you know. I bought a few decks lately. And I still have a few in mind. So, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching and thank you for creating this tag. Much love and blessings and bye-bye.